that awkward moment when there has to be some type of pandemic, something that pauses the world, that leads you to why not make a YouTube video since you're overdosed on manga, anime, and end click studying. That's my life. But anyways, now that we have time, let's make more time to make a YouTube video. My name is Mila, and on this channel, you will be getting to know myself, my world, Mila's world. Hey guys, I'm back. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself, just so that you guys kind of get an idea as to what I am giving you guys these tips and why I do the things that I do and the way that I do them. So long story short, I am a graduate nurse. I graduated nursing school not too long ago and I'm still working on my NCLEX. And I was also raised by a nurse who has about 20 years of experience. So I have that background. I have been raised by a nurse. We have a cleaning company. And let's just say that cross-contamination and all topics that have to do with cleanliness have been drilled into my mind very strongly. So this is why I'm bringing you guys these five things that I do and that we do as a family to decrease the chances of getting sick. Guys, I'm back. So the very first tip that I have for you guys is obviously gloves and that's something that I'm pretty much, at least most of us are trying to use as we go out or every time we go out. So the way that I'm gonna take this video is as if we were going to be shopping together and kind of let you in as to how I go shopping. So when I go shopping, I'm gonna put my gloves on, etc. right? We're gonna put our gloves on, right? And I like to avoid touching my belongings. Don't touch yourself. <laughs> so that's what I like to do when I go shopping, just trying to keep in mind what I have touched. I mean, these are the only things or one of the, you know, one of the things that you are using to protect yourself from the outside world. Obviously there's masks, there's the goggles and everything like that, but I'm trying to focus in on gloves in your hands, right? So I like to take gloves with me and decrease the chances of having to fix my hair or fix my shirt. I try to not let it get to me as much as I can. I mean, I try to remember, hey, I can take them off if I would really want to. But I mean, you're using this to protect yourself from the outside world. So why not try to, you know, amp it up a bit by touching yourself, like avoid touching yourself at least in public, right? So anyways, that's tip number one. Try to decrease the chances of having to fix your hair, your pants, your shirt, or just going into your belongings like, oh my goodness, I can't find that one thing. That's one thing that I like to, de to at least avoid when I'm going shopping, just because I know that if I'm using these, I'm bringing the bacteria that I, that I have touched throughout the store into my world and I don't want that. So that's the number one tip that I have. Well, the second tip that I have for you guys is actually I'm going to piggyback from the very first one, which is obviously using your gloves and trying to avoid touching yourself. <laughs> so this one tip is actually assigning a dirty pocket for yourself. When I go out and knowing that I'm gonna that I'm gonna go grocery shopping, I like to just keep in mind what I'm going to need. So I'm gonna need my card, my keys, and my phone, obviously, especially if I'm gonna go grocery shopping. So I go out and I try to remember that, oh, the one time that I am allowing my dirty hands to go and touch myself is going into my dirty pocket. <laughs> so that is the number two tip. All right, guys, so you are now back in your car. This is tip number three. So what I like to do is, well, I don't have running water in my car. <laughs> I don't have a sink or anything like that to obviously wash my hands with soap and everything like that. So what I what I normally do is actually just carry hand sanitizer in my car just so that I can clean my hands as soon as I come into my space, which is my car, and before I ever touch my steering wheel. So that is tip number three. Let's go into tip number four. So guys, you are now back home. Welcome back. <laughs> We're now home. So what I like to do is actually use more alcohol. This obviously says like 50%, but the one that we use is 91%. The CDC does recommend for you to use an alcohol that is at least 60 or more for percent wise. And the one that's in here, I wanna say it's about 91, but that's what I like to do once I get home, okay? That is for tip number four. So now for tip number five, yes, you are home, welcome home, okay? So for this one, I like to wash my hands 
obviously. Since I'm not home, I have running water and I have soap, very soapy soap. So that's the one thing that I like to do and that, that one thing that is obviously recommended and I am recommending you guys to do it too since it's been pretty great. I'm very grateful that nobody in the home has been sick or anything and knock on wood that it continues to be like that. But that's the one thing that I like to do before I ever touch other stuff in my own space, which is obviously my home. So that is tip number five. Obviously you have reached the end of the video and for that I thank you so so much. Thank you for taking your time to watch the entire video and I wish you guys the very best and I also hope that you don't forget to subscribe wherever that will be but don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos. I am looking forward to sharing more. Nice to meet you guys and I will see you guys later. Bye bye!